Hello, this is the second attempt playing as the Americans in Twilight Struggle, trying to make it to mid-war. That's all I want. Uh, if you saw the previous two videos, um, the first video focused mainly on explaining the rules. I played as the Soviets. The game ended in turn two. I didn't actually see very much of it. The second video I played as America. And the game ended at the end of turn three for some reason. The AI player went a little bit newts. So what I'm looking for now is just to make it to mid-war. Just to make it to mid-war is America. That's all I want. I have a lot of Soviet cards here. They're not great. Uh, let's go ahead and put our influence down. And then... Let's look and see what our headline is going to be. I'm leaning towards containment. This one doesn't really make sense. Um, I would get military ops and victory points, but I'd prefer to wait to see if they went into Pakistan or India first. This one I will have to do after I play NATO. This one, I mean, I feel like we're all familiar with the early war cards now. Um, that's bad news. That's not great. So many things not great. Okay. We'll have land containment. It's a weird choice for the Soviets. They're going to move four influence points. I don't know where they're going to move them from, though. Poland and West Germany, maybe. From the Middle East. Interesting. So, Indonesia and Iran. Hmm. Where are they going to go? Iran? Ugh. Gross. Okay. That's fine. Because at least this time we're still in Israel. Israel is not adjacent to Iraq. So we shall use NATO. Yeah, use NATO for points. We'll go ahead and take Israel and come down here to Jordan that'll let us go up into Iraq. Well, they might have one of these three scoring cards. I don't have any of them, obviously. Hmm. Or the three of them could be in that. There's 19 cards. Time will tell. Hmm. I'm kind of surprised they didn't go to take Iraq there. Um... That's weird. Why are they messing around in West Germany? I don't like it. Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. All right, we'll go ahead and resolve this event first. So let's take two out of Israel and two out of the UK. And then I will place influence back in West Germany. And I'll take Iraq. I have to coup. I want them to put more influence in Pakistan so that I can do the Indo Pakistani war. Well, I just got control in Japan. That's fun. What are they going to do with those four? Yay! Oh, less than yay. Mm. Okay. 
We'll resolve this event first. Let them put their influence out. In Africa and Southeast Asia, <laughs> yeah, and then I will place influence and take Israel and Jordan. It's a scroll of like. Again, I'm not too worried about them scoring a lot of points, though. Although that was almost what got me in the last game. I, I had a much better hmm, position. What? That's bad. That's not great. Okay, let's do the Indo-Pakistani War in Pakistan. So I need to get a five or a six because of their modifier, because they control Iran. I got a three, it's okay. I got two military ops. It's not great. This, I shouldn't have let it happen. But this is okay. This, mm. Not great, not great. I get to remove one Soviet influence in three different countries. I'll do that. I want to space race this. I use this for influence, I think. Hmm. Take a France, huh? Let's go ahead and resolve that event. So they get to either remove all American influence from four countries in Eastern Europe or add five, excuse me, Soviet influence in Eastern Europe. They're gonna add influence. I think it's no more than two per country. Wonderful, all right. So we will use this for influence of which, so it's a four. I can coup in Asia still. So I will not use it for influence points. I will coup in Thailand. Fabulous. So I had a nine, they had a six here. So there's a three difference. That's how much influence I got to put down. Cool. It's not the same as having South Korea, but hmm, I will participate. So remember the difference is they're going to get a modifier plus two. Whoever rolls higher gets two victory points. If I were to boycott, it would degrade DEFCON and they would get to perform actions as though they had played a four ops card, which I don't want to happen. Surprise, they won the Olympics. So they get two points for that. Which is fine. I'm going to space race this guy. And hopefully get two points and bring it back down again. Uh, failure. It's kind of mean the way it just says failure there. All right, we both got our military ops, so neither of us lose points. Containment goes away. Let's see which scoring cards we get this time. Europe and Asia. Okay. Hold on. I can work with this. I can work with this. I am going to want to defect their headline, cancel their headline. I will UN intervene on Comic Con. And then I'll use that influence to go into East Germany where I can then Truman Doctrine to remove all the Soviet influence in that country. So basically I'm going to buckle down on Europe. That's the plan. 
I always have captured Nazi scientist, which is one of my favorite cards. So, Korean War gets canceled. Fabulous. It wouldn't have made that big of a difference because they already had South Korea. If they had won, they would have, excuse me, they would have gotten two victory points and they would have, uh, I would have lost my influence and they would have added one over here in South Korea. So Taiwan is going to be treated as a battleground country. That's fun. I'm going to take advantage of that. Boo. They cooed me in Jordan. That's less than neighborly. We will UN intervene against Comic-Con. We will use this to place influence. We'll do two here. We'll go ahead and do that. Ideally, they come back for that later. They don't worry about it right now. I'd be wary if I were them, though. So I'm adding in Yugoslavia, and I assume they're going to add those two to East Germany. Oh, what? They got into Israel. They're doing a lot of stuff down here. Looks a little bit nervous. Huh. Mm -hmm. All right, we're just going to use this. I wish I had one more in East Germany. All right. Well, this is the event. Get rid of them there. They're going to play Middle East scoring. Ugh. Yeah, I don't even have presents there anymore. Hmm. <laughs> Realignment where? Haha! In Thailand for some reason. And it was unsuccessful. I'm gonna use the China card. I'm gonna go ahead and take Taiwan. And I'll take Israel back. I'm thinking that they don't have high cards at all because well, those are all rubbish cards. I don't know why they wouldn't use the blockade for its ability. If I didn't discard a three value card, I would lose everything in West Germany. Realignment in South Africa. Okay. Grand. So I have three cards. Two of them have to be these. Europe is a wash. Asia is not great. So let's do Europe. Just let it be a wash. Huh. Okay. So it's associated with me. It occurs immediately. I get to place seven influence or one influence in seven non Soviet controlled Western European countries. And they have three. Dang it. That's what I was worried about. But it didn't change it. So I'm not actually that worried about it. Okay. Let's resolve this event. They get to remove three influence in Western Europe by a total of three influence, no more than two per country. Uh, 
I don't have any non-battleground countries, that's why. I don't want to focus too much over there, though. I didn't want to telegraph. All right, we're going to place influence here. And we'll do two here. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. What? <sighs> so, um, I had control over Israel, so they needed a five or a six to succeed, and they got a five. Dang it. They got two victory points, two military ops. Oh, I don't have any of those. And all of my influence became their influence. God. Well, at least they're not getting any points from Asia this time. Four. Oh. Yep. All right. Well, that's something. All right. Turn three. Let's get those cards reshuffled. So we know Middle East scoring. There it is. Wonderful. And a whole bunch of rubbish. So let's headline. CIA um, da, 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 da. Okay, so you're gonna add influence in Africa presumably Hmm. Okay. They have Asia scoring. They have deck and cover, which is fun. NATO, which will trigger. Okay. I need to get in the Middle East. Hmm. I have a one up value thing that I can do. Well, let's coo down here. Great. Okay. Uh, just need to survive. this turn and then we'll get to mid-war. Alright. Yep. That's reasonable. Alright. Let's play this for huh. They have eight here. They have so many countries adjacent. Let's give it a try. Let's coup here. So five or six is pretty great. Four is pretty great. Four, five, or six, that's fine. Four is great, it's mine now. I will take it. All right. Let's see. Gross. Mm, making me mad. I mean, this is ridiculous. <laughs> this is a losing battle. So, let's see, they're going to get eight points from that. Five points from that. I need to space race. So, that'll get us two points, which is something.
I want to use UN intervention on Vietnam revolts. Like, that's a two value card. Dumb. My god, they have so much influence. Ugh, bad, 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 bad. Okay, let's use this card. We'll go ahead and resolve. Hmm. Hmm. Can I even get to Syria anymore? No. Alright, we'll just resolve this event and then we'll place one back in Iraq. I need to keep presence there at least. No, what? Stop being a jerk monster. All right, we'll resolve Vietnam revolts. Let them have their two influence in Vietnam. And we will make it harder for them to be a jerk monster, I hope, in Iraq. I need to keep Iraq. Cause that's six. It's 11 points. Ugh, don't like it. What? When did this happen? Where? In the Middle East? No! Yay! <laughs> okay. That works for me. <laughs> um, so I had a 7 and they had a 5 with the modifiers, which means they lose 2 influence. Wonderful. They can try to realign somewhere else too, because they have 2 up points. Well, I did lose some there. I lost two there, but that's okay. I still have control over it. It's still okay. So they're gonna play Asia Scoring next. So I'm gonna use... Oh. All right, we'll just get Nasser out of the way. It's fine, just give him tons more influence in Egypt. Oh, why not? And then I will take Japan back. So Asia Scoring. They're gonna get five points. They have more countries total than I do, more battleground countries than I do. They would score 10 to my five. And then they're gonna get more points from here. They have seven countries to my one, four battlegrounds to my one. So nine to four, they get five points off of that. Oh no, I don't know. I completely forgot. Oh, okay. So they're at 19. Oh no, I got those points. Oh, thank God. Okay. I thought I'd been careful. All right, so they're not at 19, they're at 13. Much more doable. Hey, look at this. We're at mid floor. So I'm gonna take a break here um, and I will make a second video about mid war and we'll take a look at those cards and see what happens and see how all of my beautiful plans and hopes and dreams for American ideology go down the toilet because inevitably they do when I'm recording. So, uh, all right, I will see you for mid-war.